Hey everybody, it's John from Wire here, and in this video we're going to make a MailChimp campaign from start to finish. Uh, I noticed in my previous videos that I made that MailChimp recently updated their UI for the way you create campaigns. So I thought since it's 2018 and they have a new UI that kind of lays out the whole way to create a campaign, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and do another one since Valentine's Day is coming up. So what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through from start to finish how to create a MailChimp campaign. The first thing you have to do, if you haven't done so already, is make a MailChimp account. I have a link in the bottom of this video to go and do so yourself. And then once you've made an account, go ahead and click on the Create Campaign button once you've logged in. We're going to create an email, so click on Create an Email. And then finally, give your campaign a name. Since this one is for Valentine's Day, I'm going to go ahead and write that here, and then click on the Begin button. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and created my email campaign, I'm going to go ahead and add my recipients. This is the portion where you choose what list you want to send the email to. I'm going to send it to all of the subscribers on my newsletter. And since I do have 935, I want to make sure that all of them get it. So I'm going to choose all subscribers on the list. If you want to, you can drill down. They have pre-built segments that you can use depending on what type of subscribers you have on your list. Um, I don't really care because I want it to go to all subscribers, but you can drill down and even uh, make your own segment based on the data that you've collected from your subscribers. So if I wanted to personalize the to field and address it by name of the person that's subscribed to the newsletter, I can click on this button. And I do want to send it to the person's name. So I'm going to use my merge tag as first name. So what's gonna happen is that when the person receives the email, it's gonna say, hey Bob, you've received an email instead of bob at example.com. All right, so I'm gonna click on save for that field. And then in the from section, I'm going to add a from. And this is the email address that I want to receive emails from if anyone replies. Um, and also the name of my company or business that is sending the email. So I'm going to save that. And then finally add a subject. So this is a really important part of the process. And in my previous videos, I really made this, I really highlighted this part because I think people really overlook it. The subject is in many situations, the first thing and possibly the last thing that your subscribers are going to see. And I say the last thing because if you have a really awful subject line, the people that you send the email to aren't going to open the email. So what I like to do is I always like to tell the subscribers exactly what they're gonna get once they open that email. So I'm gonna go and have a really catchy subject line like super sweet Valentine's Day treats. Treats, coupon inside. So the person reading this email subject is immediately going to see, okay, Valentine's Day is coming up. I can go and buy something for Valentine's Day. Oh, I can also get a coupon inside for my purchase. And this, these two words alone is going to increase your open rate by a lot. Because as soon as people know that there's a coupon, there's two things that happen. The first thing is they want to know what the coupon is and what it's for. And the second thing is that if they were intending to buy anything from the website within the future, they want to get the coupon too so they can save it for later. Um, you can add an emoji, and I think I am going to do so for this one because emojis have been known to grab people's attention. Um, you really don't want to go overboard on this because it can annoy people a lot. So I'm going to go and use that because it's Valentine's Day. Um, and then the preview text is just going to be a reiteration of what your subject is. It's just going to appear within um, the email inbox as like the line below the title. So I'm going to go ahead and think of a preview text and then add it here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and changed my preview text. I went ahead and changed a little bit of the subject text as well and just add exclusive. Um, because I really want to make sure that if I'm above all else that my subject and my preview text are rock solid. So I think these are pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on save once I fix the grammar over here, and then we can move on to the content section. All right, so we've gotten to the content section. So this is where you actually can design the content of your email. So click on design email, and then we're going to choose a different layout. Um, the most common one that a lot of people use is the sell products featured layout. 
I like to use one that has the breakdown of the one, two column, which is also full width. You can go ahead and choose whichever one you feel like, but for the purpose of this demonstration and this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one, two column full width one. Uh, so once you've chosen what template you want, go ahead and click on it, and then it should bring up the next image, or excuse me, the next page, which will let you customize your email. So in this section, we're gonna need some images and we're also gonna need some content. This can take a lot of time if you haven't already gotten your images. So what I like to do is Shopify has this thing called Shopify Burst. It's a new product that they released and it essentially lets you look for free stock photos. You don't have to be a Shopify member to go ahead and use them, but you can go ahead and take advantage of all the images that they have to offer just by entering your email address. I'm gonna go ahead and include a link to Shopify Burst in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a photo for my email. And I want one kind of like this that I can put my logo in. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is download this photo, put the logo of the shop that I'm working with up here. So it's just a little bit personalized and it doesn't completely look like a stock photo. And then once I do that, I'll go ahead and resume back this video. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've created my image and here's what it looks like. So I just added my logo to the image that I downloaded to make it a little bit more personalized. And I'm going to add my photo in the main header image right here. So I'm gonna click on Browse, I'm gonna click on Upload, and choose the photo that I just made. All right, and once it's finished uploading, I wanna just make sure that it's aligned well. Um, and I'm also going to slightly crop the photo just on the bottom and a little bit on the top. And the way that you can do that is by clicking on the pencil icon next to the part of the campaign that you want to edit. So if I click on the edit button here, it's gonna edit this whole block. And this brings up my content where I can then go ahead and click on the edit button here to do a whole lot of things with the image in terms of the lighting, resizing, cropping, um, frames, and et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop it. Um, just bring it down a little bit so it's just a little bit more tighter. Um, and then click on apply. And then finally, let's see if I can give it a nice little frame just to make it look uh, a little bit more professional. Cool. I'm gonna click on apply and then save, and that will update my email image right there. Okay, so the next part is it's time to design your email. This header section is something we can also edit by clicking the pencil icon. I'm gonna go ahead and describe what the email is about include my discount code, and also talk about the new products that have been added to the store that they can purchase for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video through this process. Of course, you wanna go ahead and make sure that the first few sentences that your readers are reading are engaging and also grab their attention. So this would be a great time to drop your coupon code or your freebie or anything that will make them stay through and read the rest of the email. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and come back to this in a second. Okay, so I've added my copy, um, I've added my title. I'm gonna go ahead and do a few tricks within the actual editor to make a few words stand out and also insert a link to my new product. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bold this and then make it red. Um, I also wanna increase the size just a little bit so that it stands out. I'm gonna make it red because it's Valentine's Day. And then finally, I'm going to add a hyperlink to these three words so that it can link directly to my product page, which uh, lets, lets the recipients of the email buy the product that I'm talking about in the email. So I'm going to copy the link of this page and then go back to my email, click on the hyperlink button, and then insert the web address link right here. There's a few advanced options that you can do, open a new window, I usually do this because I always want to make sure that they can come back to the email itself if they're on a web browser. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on insert and now we'll go ahead and make a hyperlink. So whenever anybody clicks on this link, they'll be taken to the product page directly. All right, so let's go ahead and save and close this section and move on to the next one. And I'm going to add some copy over here and I'm also going to drop an image of the new products on the store right here using the same thing that we did up here for this image. I'm just going to upload it to MailChimp, um, do a little bit of editing using the pencil icon, and then um, put it in the email body itself. I'm gonna fast forward this part as well, 
and then we'll get to the part where we can add the promo code section. All right. Okay, so I've added my photo, my subtitle, and also some content on the left-hand side to go ahead and talk about the patties themselves, and also a little bit about what we do in terms of organiz organizations we support. But there's one other thing that I want to do, and that is on the sidebar. I can drag and drop certain things within the email itself to go ahead and draw attention to certain areas, like an image and caption card, a button, a product recommendation, and code. What I do want to do for this example is I want to drop my promo code inside the email so that people can either copy and paste the Valentine uh, text at checkout or they can click on the code itself. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it right below this one right here and I'm going to add the details about the promo code, um, a little bit about the shop URL right here so I can have people just click on it and go right to the website and also um, make sure that it's synced with Shopify so that they can track it internally in the Shopify store. I'm going to go ahead and update my Shopify permissions to allow this, and then I'm going to go ahead and update this over here. Okay, so I've added the content of the promo code inside the body of my email, but it still looks a little bit bland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where it says style, and then I'm going to add an image as the background. I don't have an image yet, but that's okay. I can always go back to burst and choose one. Okay, so this one looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and download this and add it as the background for my coupon code. Okay, so this image is really massive. So what I can do is click on edit and then crop the image, the portion that I want. Click on apply and then save. Then what I can do is set the auto size to cover or contain so that it's just a little bit more organized within the body of the email itself. It kind of hurts to read though, and I can't really see what this says, but that's all right because I can go back to content and then go to, or excuse me, I can go back to style, and then if I scroll down to where it says the promo code, I can change the color to be completely white. So that makes it a lot easier to read. Um, same thing for the subtitle, I can make sure that the no expiration date is also white as well. Great. And then finally, the shop now button doesn't really match the whole flow of the email, um, so I'm going to change the background color from blue to a nice red color instead. Okay, so this looks much better. The one last thing I want to do is that I want to change the fallback color to something that's really dark that'll make the text stand out just in case the image isn't supported and it's not shown. So I've gone ahead and changed it to black uh, and it looks pretty good from here. So I'm going to click on save and close and then I can scroll down to the bottom of the email where I have my social media links. So I'm going to click on the edit button next to my social media links and then add the URLs to each one of the pages that my store has. So for this one, I'm going to do Living Rob Treats. I'm going to do the same for Facebook and also include my website at the bottom here as well. All right, so I've gone ahead and added my social follow links here. You can go and change the style by clicking on the Style tab, and you can also click on Settings to change the alignment, the layout, and the different icon styles. I'd really encourage you to go ahead and choose each one of these different options for each one of your sections as usually they have different options and settings that you can customize based on your desires and needs. The last part we have is this section down here. It should be filled out for you already as long as you have your contact information filled out, but there really isn't anything you have to change down here unless you want to change the style and the settings. Again, make sure that your contact info is accurate and updated because there is the Can Spam Act that they will enforce if you don't have this filled out. Here's a really clever tip that you can use when you're sending out your email campaigns. For every single one of these images, like this one right here and your header image, go ahead and click on the edit button and then link them to the store or the URL that you want to send them to. And the reason you want to do this is because a lot of people are going to view this email on social media or they might view it on their mobile phones or tablets. And just being able to tap on the image to take them to the web address is going to really increase your click through rate. So I'm going to go ahead and add mine right now. And then again, for this image, I'm going to click on the edit and then link button. Great. So my email looks pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and preview it first. 
Go ahead and enter preview, mo preview mode by going in the upper right hand corner and clicking that. And then it'll show you what it's going to look like live. You can adjust it to see what it's going to look like on desktop and also mobile. But inbox requires a subscription and you have to pay for that one. Okay, so once you're done with preview mode, go ahead and exit out. And then you want to save and send a test email. And the reason you want to send a test email is just to make sure that the email is perfect before you send it to your entire list. I'm going to show you a shortcut that MailChimp built that'll make checking the links within your email really easy. Go in the upper right hand corner where it says preview and test and click on the drop down button where it says open link checker. What this will do is it's going to show you all of the links that are contained within your email to make sure that they're accurate and they point to the right place. You can even click on any of the links here and it'll show you a preview of what the link will look like once it's opened. If you need to, you can go and edit the link directly from this panel as well. Click on save once you're done and then next to go through all the rest of the links. When you're finished, you can exit out of this view and go back into the campaign builder. Okay, so once we've verified all the links, once we've done our test email, we can click on the save and close button and move on to the final part of our campaign. On this page, we want to make sure that each one of these items has a check mark next to it and that they're all accurate. The to section is correct for me. I check my from section, it goes to the right email that's working. My subject is exactly the way that I want it. It's engaging and it gets the user's attention. And my content is well laid out and there's no issues or anything over here. Um, this is a suggestion, or excuse me, it's not a suggestion. It's always going to happen if you're on a free account. It's just a Mikey Rewards badge. Don't worry too much about that right now. It just refers people to MailChimp if they click on the link at the very bottom of the email. Uh, one last thing I'd recommend. One final preview, make sure that the links all work. And if you are good with this, then you can send the email. And this is the final part. So click on the send button in the upper right hand corner once you are ready to go. So I've finished my email and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on send. This is the final page that you're gonna see. It's just confirming that you want to send the campaign that you just created to this newsletter with this amount of subscribers. You're going to be fine. Go ahead and click on send now. And it will send it out within just a few minutes. If you're at a location that is overseas, or if you have a lot of users that are on your list, it might take just a little bit of a delay before the email goes out. But otherwise, high five the monkey and you're good to go. I really hope this helped you out and I really hope it made it easier to create MailChimp campaigns. Um, I do look at every comment that's posted below all my videos. So if you do have a question or if this helped you, please let me know. I do read them and I do take action if there's any questions. Thanks so much and I hope you have a really great day.